Congratulations. So how's it feel to uh, be at SMU? Um, to be here, it's actually, it feels great. It's been a blessing so far um, to have my family all here together. Um, sister's going here now. She's a sophomore, getting to see my dad every day at practice, and my mom's a 10-minute drive away. Um, so transitioning here with the uh, school as a whole academically and the culture we're building around the basketball program has been a true blessing, so I'm trying to make the most of it every day. So what's been the biggest adjustment for you so far? Um, the biggest adjustment, I'd say, um, school has been a pretty smooth transition. On the court, I would say the biggest adjustment is style of play compared to my old school, and um, also trying to get used to dad as a coach and then differentiating dad off the court, too. So uh, it's been a process, but I've been enjoying it, so it's been good. What is that dynamic like to, to kind of differentiate the two and disassociate a, a little bit while also obviously still having that, that family bond? Um, it, it's been good. It's been good. I, I would say uh, having two years in college and getting used to how um, how hard college coaches push you um, mentally, physically. Um, I say it's definitely helped me for this. Um, it's been good. Uh, in the past, we haven't always got along, especially especially in middle school. We used to bump heads a lot, but um, in high school, he kind of gave me my space. And then now, um, you know, I, I kind of have the mindset where the next three years of my career, he'll be my coach. But then after that, he'll be my dad forever. So, um, you know, keeping that in mind and, and, and taking everything he says, uh, not listening to the, the tone he says it, but the message in it, uh, that's helped. So it's been good. It's still a process, too. We still got, we still got games on the way. So. We'll see, but it's definitely been a blessing so far. So it seems like he's been coaching you, being the coach for a long time too. Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah, he hasn't actually ever coached me um, in a setting, but he's always been on the sideline, helping me work out, training, um, advising, film. So all of that all-around aspect, he's always been around, and he, he knows my game the best out of anybody uh, who's watched me. What do you feel like the, the style of play is that your dad? Coach Lanier wants to this team to take on this season. Um, so the style of play, um, we want to we want to play really fast. Uh, we want to get up and down the floor. We want to have high possession ball games. Try to get as many shots up as possible, while trying to stress out the other team on offense by pressing up 94 feet. Trying to just make every possession difficult, and then on the offensive end, make it difficult for them to guard us as well. So I think that fast paced offense, if we can get in shape. Um, and be in that type of shape to play uh, regular season through conference, uh, it'll be exciting, and I think we can compete with just about anybody if we get that down. Did you always know you were going to play basketball for the most part, or did, did you play other sports growing up? Was there any pressure to, to play basketball? Um, there was a, you know, my family always told me there was no pressure to play basketball, and I, I played uh, soccer in elementary, played football all the way up to middle school. And then kind of at high school, I just stuck to just basketball. But I've been playing since I was five. I've been around the sport um, forever, been around tons of players and coaches and, you know, got to learn the game from them. So I've uh, been around it my whole life and it's, it's been a blessing for sure. Lots of new faces. Just kind of what's it been like on the non-basketball side of just kind of getting to know everybody and, mm -hmm. and kind of coming together to have that chemistry a little bit off the court to then take it onto the court? Yeah, so we got we got like eight, nine new guys on the team. So, you know, me being a new guy and kind of coming later in the summer session, um, I was a little bit nervous at first, but, you know, there's a lot of new guys and they're coming from, you know, different and similar situations. So off the court has been, you know, everyone's new. So we're all really getting to know each other um, in that aspect and getting to know each other as friends off the court. And then on the court still is a process because, you know, we have a couple returners, but a lot of the guys are new. so. The returners and the new guys are trying to get used to playing with each other and building that chemistry. But I think um, in the summer, we've had that time to bond and build the off-court team chemistry. So um, yeah, I think it'll pay dividends for when we're working on the court to really come together as a team. When did you know that you, you'd also be coming here and, and how did that kind of play out? Um, so it kind of happened late June uh, in the summer at the previous school, my old coach retired. Um, and I was here during the summer with my family and just talking, talking it over with them. A lot of conversations and praying, um, you know, talking to my family, talking to my teammates and friends. Um, we ended up, or I ended up making the final decision to come here and, you know, have our, all our family together. So it was, I would say it was a, one of the toughest decisions of my life to, you know,
know, leave school again and transition because I've moved around a lot. But, um, you know, now that I'm here, I'm just trying to make the most of every day and every opportunity because a lot of people aren't. I know that a lot of people aren't in this position, so I'm just trying to make the most of it. And it's been great so far.